how to check whether the function is one one or many one function uh, we have two kinds of approaches one is graphical and other one is derivative approach so we are studying graph applications here first of all graph helps us to know whether the given equation in x and y is a function or not to check whether equation in x and y is a function or not secondly it helps us to check whether the given function is one one or many one so in first case first of all we need to check whether it is a function or not the given equation we need to draw a vertical line this is called vertical line test we need to draw a line parallel to y axis any vertical line in the graph parallel to y axis if this line cuts the graph at more than one places then it is not a function otherwise it is a function right and in second case to check one one or many one we need to draw a horizontal line horizontal line is a line parallel to x axis draw a line parallel to x axis if this line cuts the graph at more than one place then it is many one and if it cuts only at one place then it is one one though one one and many one also depends upon domain and range so we need to consider domain and range everywhere too so the question that came in ai triple i which of the following is or are the functions we need to check which one of these is uh, is a function and not a function y square is equals to 4x x square is equals to 8y third one is circle equation x square plus y square is equals to 4 and fourth one is semicircle so we need to draw graph first y is equals y square is equals to 4x is a right handed parabola draw a line parallel to y axis you will be getting two points at which the curve is cutting the line so it is not a function in second x square is equals to 8y is upward parabola when you will draw a vertical line the graph will cut at one place only so this is a function the third one is a circle with radius 2 if we draw a vertical line it cuts at more than one places so equation of circle is not a function d part is semi circle we have bounded the circle to positive values of y only if we draw vertical line then it cuts at one place so it's a function b and d is the answer b and d are the function so next is the function f defined from r to r defined by y is equals to x square we need to check whether the function is into onto one one and many one 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 and many one we'll check via the same concept which we have discussed into and onto we have if range is equals to codomain then function is onto if range is different than codomain then function is into so y is equals to x square if we draw is a upward parabola passing through the origin and when we draw horizontal line it touches more than one places it touches the graph so horizontal line parallel to x axis cuts the graph at more than one places so it is many one so answer is here into and many one reason being the criteria is uh, of into and onto codomain here is given to us is whole real number but range we are getting the y value is only positive here in the graph you can check only positive y is in the range part so range is positive reals only range is not matching with codomain so the function is into hence part a is correct and part d is correct function is into and many one though into many one and one one also depends upon as we have discussed on domain domain here is uh, the whole real number if we constrict the domain for positive reals we won't be allowed the negative x here and in this case when we don't allow 
y is equals to x square we don't allow the negative values of x to put that's not the part of the domain then we'll be getting only the graph in the first quadrant only the first quadrant graph will be available to us so with the, in that case function will be 1 1 so 1 1 and many 1 also depends upon domain right so function defined here is r to r cos x we need to check for the same n to 1 to 1 1 and many 1 so to draw cos x see one needs to learn these uh, some standard trigonometric graphs also to get the idea of the curve so cos x is a periodic function and at 0 it takes value as 1 so range lies between minus 1 and 1 that's the range which we have draw upper bound and lower bound for the curve and graph goes like this similar in the second quadrant it oscillates it oscillates between minus 1 and 1 so by looking at the graph if you know the graph it's very easy to check one one and many one draw a horizontal line it cuts the curve at more than one places function is many one and uh, for into on to consider that you are getting the range only between minus one and one In the same way also if you change domain here if you restrict the domain here for a specific period then it may get one one otherwise it is many one if the domain is whole real numbers so y is equals to cos x has a range minus one to one and codomain is given to us as whole real numbers range is not matching with the codomain function is into So answer is n2 and many 1. One thing you can remember is all trigonometric functions are many 1 function if domain is real number. And all inverse trigonometric functions are 1 1 function. So you need to consider this trigonometric functions are many one in general if domain is the whole real number because they are periodic in real numbers when f is defined from r to r only then the function all trigonometric function will be many one if we restrict the domain if we take the domain for a specific period fixed period then it won't repeat in that domain then it will be one one So here I am giving an example to restrict the domain. Suppose fx is equal to tan x in minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. fx is equal to tan x for the domain minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Then it is 1 1 function. To understand this let's draw a graph for tan x see this is a graph of tan x this is a rough sketch in minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 it has only this much curve and when in this we draw a horizontal line it cuts at only one place so for minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 tan x is 1 1 otherwise if we plot the whole graph when domain is real then another curve of the same will be drawn like this same graph can be drawn in negative x-axis also so if we take whole domain then function is many one so it also depends upon domain by looking at the graph also we can tell one one many one so another example if you take function as mod of x and function is defined from real to real 
then it has the graph in two quadrant first and second and when we draw horizontal line it cuts at more than one places so function is many one but if i restrict the domain to positive x only positive real only then the portion of the graph will be visible only in the first quadrant second quadrant won't be there so in that case function will be one one so uh, there is another way to check one 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 and many one function this is derivative approach so in this case what we do we take the derivative of the function y is equals to fx derivative of the curve if derivative keeps the same sign in the whole domain like if it is positive for all x or it is negative for all x then the function is monotonic in positive it will be monotonically increasing in negative it will be monotonically decreasing so in both the cases it is monotonic function and so it is one one because it keeps the sign the second criteria is if dy by dx keeps changing sign like for some value it is positive and for some value of x it is negative then the function is many one when derivative keep changing the sign in the domain right so this is also easy approach but again we need to consider the domain also to give the answer suppose the function is x to the power 4 if i take derivative 4x cube will be negative if x is negative will be positive if f is x is positive so depends upon the sign of x so function is many one because the domain is whole real numbers means we are allowed negative values in second part x to the power 5 plus 1 the derivative will be 5x4 which is positive for all x so it is 1 1 function